G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today I have an extra special treat just for you. Today the wife has decided to do her own cooking video. Now we try to get her to do a cooking video for quite some time and while she's finally agreed. So make sure you show as much support as you possibly can by leaving comments and giving this video a thumbs up. So today my wife is going to cook a corn and zucchini fritter. For today's recipe, we'll need half a cup of skim milk, two eggs, a cup of self-raising flour, two cups of corn kernels, I use straight from the can but you can use fresh if you want, um, about 300 grams of zucchini, I've pre-grated that and drained it of the excess um, moisture, half a cup of low fat grated cheese, you can use cheddar. You can use basically any sort of cheese you like. Um, two tablespoons of chopped chives, which have already been chopped here. We stole them from Todd's garden out the front. Um, tablespoon of lemon zest, which smells absolutely lovely. Okay, so we want to pop the two eggs. Try not to get any shells in there. I'm not an expert at this, so pop the two eggs in there, add the flour, get it all in there and then we want to add half a cup of skim milk. I guess if you don't like skim milk you could always use full cream but since we're on diet we're going to use skim. Now just give that a whisk until it's nice and smooth and try not to get the flour everywhere like I'm doing. Alright now so that's nice and smooth we're gonna add in the corn. Can you see that? There we go. The zucchini. Lemon zest. Should we get it in there? Again take a whiff it smells beautiful. The cheese and the herbs. Okay, now combine that all together. Nice and thoroughly. Okay, so now we have the pan on medium heat. Um, we're just going to use a little bit of olive oil. Just sprinkle it in there, not too much. Just basically to cover the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now the fry pan is nice and hot. We'll just spoon a large spoonful into the pan. You can hear that sizzle. Sign you know it's warm enough. So we're just going to do two spoonfuls at a time because we're using a fairly small fry pan. Obviously, the larger the fry pan, the more you can put in there. So I give them about three to five minutes on each side or until they're nice and golden brown. Obviously, if you go to move them and they're still a little bit runny, leave them for a little bit longer. Okay, so these are ready to be turned. Just flip them over nice and golden brown on the side so that's well cooked on that side and that one too now the ultimate taste test Well, as Todd would say, absolutely delish. They're pretty damn good, I must say so myself. So I'm going to have a second bite. I guess you could also add a little bit of garlic into the sour cream if you wanted. That is something that I would consider next time. Mm. Now to go let the real chef try them out. So let's give this a taste.
Mmm. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, it tastes like corn, the chives, herbs. Oh, that's that's outstanding. Well, that sure was delish. Make sure you show your support by leaving comments for my wife and giving this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time for my next outstanding recipe.